Hi everyone, Mary here, and we are going to begin Chapter 4, uh, which is Forces and Newton's Laws. This is one of the most fundamental and important ideas in all of physics. This chapter, we are going to study dynamics, and dynamics is the study of why things move. Um, if you recall in the past, we studied kinematics, which is the study of how things move. And in that chapter, we talked about velocity, acceleration, displacement, time. But what we did not talk about is how do you make something move and how do you make something stop moving? That is the subject covered in dynamics. Now, you may have heard the term mechanics. Uh, you may have a friend or a relative who is a mechanical engineer. And mechanicals engineering or mechanics is the study of motion. Um, it is a combination of kinematics and dynamics. What makes something move, and then how do you describe that motion? So throughout this chapter, and for the remainder of the course, we're going to spend a lot of time talking about forces. Uh, forces, simply defined, are any sort of a push or a pull. Um, a force is a vector. When you push on something, you push in a specific direction. When the wind blows something, it blows it in a direction. If you, if you slide the leaves this way, friction is going to work in the opposite. Gravity is a force, and gravity pulls downward. These, there are lots of different kinds of forces, and we'll talk about many of them. And the units we use for force in the English system are pounds, same thing that you get when you weigh yourself on your bathroom scale. And the metric units of force are something which is referred to as a Newton, named for Sir Isaac Newton. So that is dynamics. Now there are different classes of forces. Um, some are referred to as contact forces. These are forces involved with touching. A small child kicks a soccer ball. A person picks up a coffee cup. Uh, your tires push against the road which propels your vehicle forward. Those are all contact forces. One object is physically touching another. One of the things we'll just begin in this semester or this term is we're going to talk a little bit about force fields. Now force fields are forces that are applied at a distance. Electrical forces. Uh, this small child has, as you can tell, there's a lot of static electricity going on. But that, what, how does one hair keep repelled by another hair? Well, that's a force applied at a distance. They're actually not touching each other. Many of you have played with magnets, and you know that like polarity of magnets will repel. And another force that is applied at a distance, of course, is the good old force of gravity, which keeps the Earth in orbit around the Sun, and of course the Moon then in orbit around the Earth. So that's a brief introduction to dynamics, and we'll continue next time. Bye-bye.